Hi everyone and welcome to the Free Range Diva. Today I'm going to be talking about rosehip seed oil. One of my favorite subjects is facial oils and I've had kind of a, a little bit of a struggle with rosehip over the years, but I finally found some oils that I can highly recommend because uh, we all want those anti-aging benefits that rosehip is so known for. So if you're ready to learn uh, more about rosehip seed oil and see my recommendations, then just keep watching. So a while back I did uh, my Facial Oils 101 where I talked about rosehip seed oil as well as several other kinds of oils and today uh, I want to talk a little bit more about it as well as show you some blends that I have been using and loving. Rosehip seed oil is predominantly grown in Chile. Uh, it's high in vitamins and fatty acids, including omega-3, 6, and 9. It also has a ton of free radical fighting antioxidants. Um, it's a natural source of lycopene, beta carotene, which is the natural form of vitamin A and is a retinol, as well as vitamin C. So let's break these uh, these nutrients down. So vitamin A, we all know about. We've all, we know retin-A and retinols. Well, rosehip seed oil contains, uh, it's, it's like um, the natural sort of response to the synthetic retinol, retinols that you find in those types of products. It has beta carotene, That's ret, that is vitamin A in its natural form. Vitamin A can reduce the signs of aging, including wrinkles, fine lines, and scarring. Rosehip seed oil also has a high amount of vitamin C. So this is the vitamin that's needed for for uh, collagen production. So vitamins, the vitamin C in here helps the uh, oil to support elasticity in the skin as well as building collagen. Other antioxidants in it help to reverse the signs of sun damage like discoloration, uneven pigment, and uh, texture of the skin. So when you think of rosehip seed oil, think of repair and regenerate. Now the companies that I'm going to talk about uh, have different varying qualities as well as price points. Uh, so I would encourage you that if something sounds like it might be up your alley, to go to the website and look at their practices as far as how they extract the oil, if it's done, if the oil is organic, cold press, CO2 extraction, or you know, water-based extraction, whatever. Just find out what, the, because all of these things affect the quality of the oil. So with rosehip seed oil, you'll notice that the color is usually um, a light, sort of a golden amber color. Uh, the seed is extracted from a, a berry, and sometimes certain companies will include part of that berry in the extraction process, and this will produce a very deep orange-colored oil. Uh, also, rosehip seed oil naturally has kind of a nutty fragrance. Some companies cover that up with essential oils. Others just let the nut, which I actually like, let that nutty fragrance, um, you know, remain as part of the oil itself. So, let's talk about the first company. This is straight rosehip seed oil. It's from a brand called Aracasia and this was the first rosehip seed oil that I tried. Um, I found that, this oil is made in Chile by the way, I found that this oil uh, tended to sit on my skin and it didn't really give it very much hydration so I, to use it I would mix it with uh, one drop of this and one drop of my marula oil which would help it to penetrate a little bit better um, but even though this is quite uh, um, affordable, I really don't recommend it because I did not feel like this gave me the kind of results that you know you hear about that that make rosehip seed oil such a an oil that's in demand. Um, this is a good place to start, and uh, you know if if your budget is limited, then you know you can find this in health food stores and online retailers I'm sure it's even on Amazon so uh, this is the but this is the only uh, straight-up oil that I'm going to be discussing because I found that that this just didn't give me the the results that I really wanted and that is pie their rosehip seed oil is um, legendary it's it's a cult favorite 
I'll put a picture up because I used it. I had a small tube of it and I used it up and threw it out. So it was in my empties actually. The uh, pie rosehip seed oil is uh, very orange in color. It's mixed with, um, what is it, vanilla infused jojoba oil. And that gives it this sort of a nutty vanilla fragrance to it. It is lighter than just uh, in texture, I mean, in than just straight, you know, rosehip seed oil. All these these uh, oils that I'm going to talk about now are going to be lighter than straight up rosehip seed oil, simply because they're blends. But uh, yeah, the pie blend is extraordinary. I loved using it. My skin felt like velvet, and mixing it with the jojoba gives it enough, um, mo you know moisturization so that you your skin just feels beautiful when it's done you really unless your skin is really really dry I can't imagine you would need anything else to put on on top of it this next oil is from a company called herbivore botanicals and it's their Phoenix Phoenix regenerating facial oil the ingredients in this one are uh, jojoba rosehip seed and then meadow foam chia and seed buckthorn oils in it this uh, as you can see here has that beautiful deep amber color to it um, with rosehip seed oil color is quality so this is definitely an oil that penetrates this is actually of all the oils I'm going to talk about today this penetrates my skin faster than any oil I've ever used I mean literally within seconds uh, it I don't need any extra, you know, um, moisturizer after. In fact, I don't think I, uh, of all these oils, none of them I really need any extra moisturizer. They, this one um, smells wonderful. It has a very light, almost fragrance-free kind of fragrance to it. I've been using this for about a month, and you can see how much of it I have left. This beautiful oil, uh, uh, love using it again and like I said if you want something that really gets into the skin quickly leaving you that trademark sort of velvet skin feeling afterwards then uh, this is the oil for you the lightest of all of, of them all this is the oil that made me fall in love with rosehip seed oil again this is from Trilogy this is their rosehip oil in the light blend this blend is uh, uh, now they also make a straight rosehip seed oil and they make uh, another blend that they call their antioxidant blend which is very much like this one except that it has acai berry uh, oil in it but this uh, penetrates the skin very quickly again you get that beautiful velvety texture I've gone on and on about this oil so you know I love it <laughs> um, and uh, I'm looking forward to, I'm going to wait until uh, January before I actually open this up because I want to finish that, uh, the, the Phoenix one before I do. Uh, but I'm looking really forward to getting back to um, the trilogy. This was the first time, the first oil that I used where I actually got hydration and moisturization and a difference in the feeling of my skin, which is, again, that velvety texture. This is a little, I'll put this a little bit closer maybe, let's see, yeah. This is a sample, the, co the company is called Violet, cute. This oil has Evening Primrose is the first oil in here, then Jojoba, Rosehip, Argan, and Carrot Seed oil. This uh, oil, like the others, is beautiful, has a great texture, probably a, a smidge uh, thicker than the others that I mentioned but again it goes in it sinks in it leaves your skin with that that lovely um, soft velvet you're gonna get I'm gonna st they're all leave your skin velvet so I can just stop saying that <laughs> feeling like velvet um, and uh, again this the, the, the soil uh, you don't need anything else and I mean you go to bed and in the morning your skin still feels uh, nice. It's, there's no tightness. And I've been using these oils in conjunction with uh, the heater, which has been on because it's been on the cold side. And I don't wake up in the morning with any kind of tightness. Usually I'd get like tightness in this area here especially. None of that with, with these oils. One of the reasons why I like using them at night. 
This next oil is a sample. It's from a company called Savor Beauty. If you are a Neiman Marcus luxury beauty shopper, then you've probably heard about this line. This oil has in it rosehip, pumpkin seed, meadow foam seed, sunflower, and carrot seed. And this oil is, again, a beautiful oil. It's very golden in color. It has its it uh, has a very that that ambery color, but I did check out their website to find out you know how they process it, and it's it's done very high quality. Uh, so this is one you know like if you like that luxury skincare feel, uh, this company uh, this oil will definitely give that to you. Again, it's it sinks in. Um, and it's just beautiful to use. The color again is a little bit lighter than the others uh, and this one is about the same weight in terms of thickness as the Violet's oil. So it's a little bit heavier than the Trilogy or the Phoenix. But, it, but again, sinks into the skin, doesn't sit, and uh, leaves my skin feeling great. So uh, of all of these oils um, the Trilogy is my number one, and close on its heels is the pie. And in fact, I think uh, once I'm done with that bottle of Trilogy, i got to have a bottle of pie. I just have to. It's just such a beautiful experience. And there's a reason that, it, that you know, it, it's at the price point that it is, and there's a reason that it's such a cult favorite. It is worth every single penny, as is the Trilogy, which Trilogy, fortunately, you can find it on sale. I don't know about pie, but we'll see. So when it comes to storing your rosehip seed oil, it's recommended to store it at room temperature in a cool, dark place. With any facial oil, sunlight will start to degrade it. The only oil that I have ever refrigerated is this Oracasia one because uh, um, I didn't, you know, I wanted to extend the the shelf life of it. Uh, you can refrigerate it if you refrigerate rosehip seed oil if you do want to extend the shelf life. And as far as shelf life goes, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but on the, the box or somewhere on the bottle, let's see if we can get a good shot of this. You'll see down here, it looks like a jar and then there's a number written in it. That number uh, here is 6 and it says 6M. That tells you that the shelf life on the Trilogy is six months stored at room temperature. So if you feel like you, you want it to go longer than that, then yes, you could refrigerate it. It doesn't seem to break down the oil at all. So check your oils. This Phoenix oil uh, has one, uh, 12 months. It says 12M in its little box. And uh, then you can decide, you know, how best you want to store it. But, you know, depending on shelf life, you should be fine keeping it in your bathroom cabinet out of the sun. Often, you'll notice that many of these uh, bottles are dark. And again, that amber color helps to preserve the, uh, the ingredients in the oils, all the, you know, the nutrition and all that good stuff that's in there. So if you are looking for anti-aging, for the benefits of retinol in a more natural form that does not irritate the skin and that has no known side effects, um, look at rosehip seed oil. Uh, um, more and more beauty bloggers are discovering it. It uh, had a moment a few years ago when it was everywhere. Um, and uh, it's, although it's not quite as notorious as it once was, it's a beautiful oil, fabulous for, you know, getting those, those anti-aging benefits of, of collagen and elastin, all those things, and wrinkle fighting, all those things that we want our anti-aging products to do. Congratulations to Ms. B. She is a longtime viewer, and I am thrilled that you are, are the winner of the supplement. So just contact me at my email, freerangediva at outlook.com, and I will have it in the mail to you. Again, congratulations, Sean. All right, that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already, because I would love that if you did, and that way you won't miss my next video. So until I see you in my next video, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye!